It helps us with, by giving us a hint and says we need to build a house before the sun goes down. Houses require a lot of food, um, wood. Cut down all three trees. So you continued this, and so it moves forward and it gets here. So we, we already ran this once. You got the rest of it. And then, so you keep going. Well, I'm very excited. Last year, uh, my third grade class was able to pair up with Mrs. Riggs' fifth grade class to have a code lesson, and it was pretty new for me. And this year, as soon as I saw that she was um, asking teachers to come into their classrooms, I signed up immediately. The kids right now are working one-to-one -one with a fifth grade student on iPads, which is phenomenal because having the technology in the classroom is something that we're really pushing as a district and as a school here at Woodman Hills. Um, and for the third graders, they're, they're going to have to use a lot of technology with upcoming tests so this is a good experience for them. They're highly engaged right now. They're having a fun time. They're learning how to code different lessons. They're they're working with Minecraft and with different like Star Wars games that are interesting for them. So the kids right now are just working one-to-one -one and having a great time with their fifth grade students. Look at oh, wow. what they've Look at already growing. done. Look at how much they've already coded in the wow. 10 minutes we've been in here. We're trying to teach the third graders how to code and what what they have to do so this coding is more like basically what it takes to make the game and so what the basic part point of um, coding is okay do you like it I think it's fun personally um what do you think of it awesome it's awesome